Hi there. With the start of Thanksgiving, I add to my everyday sort of anxiety and stress what I call special holiday anxiety. And I know that I'm not alone in the extra stress that this season of giving thanks and feeling joy brings into our lives. So for the next few minutes, I want to talk to you about the benefits of mindfulness and encourage all of us to spend time each day in the attitude of being mindful. I am a pro at feeling stress and letting anxiety take control of my days. But when I'm reminded to practice mindfulness each day, I feel like I am able to feel more peace in my life, more calm and harmony. I hope that as I share a few things that I have learned over the years, you too will feel the increased energy and the, and the anxiety relief that being mindful can bring into our lives. So what is mindfulness? According to mindful.org, mindfulness is the basic human ability to be fully present, aware of where we are and what we are doing, and not overly reactive or overwhelmed by what's going on around us. So what are you doing right now besides hopefully listening to me? Maybe schoolwork, maybe listening to the radio with the TV on, and maybe you're walking the treadmill all at the same time. We extend ourselves in so many ways. What about when we're talking with a friend? Are we really being attentive to the conversation or are we perhaps watching the couple across the room or scrolling through social media on our phones? In our world, there is so much movement, not only with our bodies, but with our minds and our attention. Oftentimes, we rush from one thing to the next, giving little thought to our thoughts. All of the busyness is counterproductive, and although we think we are great at multitasking, there is now enough research that tells us we are actually less productive when we are multitasking. So according to a study reported by Psychology Today, 34% of the population is affected by an anxiety disorder somewhere during their lifetime. We increase our anxiety in part because of our busyness. Over the years, I have read and seen so much research that has shown that meditation and other mindful practices can be extremely helpful in reducing anxiety. So the action, some, some of the solutions we have to um, being to incorporate mindfulness into our lives. So we need to first of all plan time. This can happen at any point in our, of our day. Perhaps maybe you have the best time, the best chance of getting this habit into practice by doing it at the start of your day when you first wake up. Or maybe it's as you transition between work and school and home. Or perhaps you take an extra few minutes as you prepare, to prepare for bed um, to be quiet and mindful. We need to be calm and still our minds. We need to let our bodies rest for movement, even just for a few moments. Breathe. Focus on our senses. From an article um, published by Psych Central, it suggests 54321 technique, which allows you to connect with the world around you. So you, for a few minutes, you um, look at five, five different things around you, four what four things are you hearing? Four different sounds that you hear. Three, what different, three different smells that you can pick out in the world around you. Two, what are you touching right now? Two different things that you can identify by touch. And one, one is um, what can you taste? What are you sensing like that? So um, part of how we establish any sort of habit, right, is to put it on the calendar. We need to plan time and make time to create mindfulness in our days. So I was thinking about how often we stand in line. From time to time, we all are standing in line. So we can stop here. We can breathe and we can focus on these, um, the technique of five, four, three, two, one. And part of being mindful is filtering out the negativity. We are busy. We like being busy. We like the feeling of accomplishment, but we need balance and time um, for restorative practices like mindfulness. So we can, um, by practicing, practic practicing mindfulness, we can reduce the anxiety and the stress that we feel in our lives. Think about your day. Think about your last couple of, 
last couple of days? What kinds of feelings are you feeling that are not necessarily harmonious to feeling good? We all feel stress from time to time, but with the daily practice of mindfulness, we can learn to manage how we respond to those stresses. So this seems like a good idea, right? Right? But we all know that establishing a new habit can be tricky, so it is important that we make a plan. So I encourage you today, make time to make time for mindfulness. Plan a time later today and give mindfulness a try. Think over what I have just shared with you, the benefits of mindfulness and the ability it has to help reduce stress and anxiety and allow us to be more intentional in caring for ourselves. So in closing, I just want to remind you, slow down, breathe, find happiness, and just be in this moment. In this season of fun, celebrations, and joy, we can feel and find peace as we spend time each day being mindful.